Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the Miller Multimatic 220. Uh, so today in this video, I got the new version of the Multimatic 220 AC-DC unit. Um, and in new version, I mean it can run 6010 stick electrode. Uh, we're going to talk about that and we're going to weld with it with 6010. Uh, but mainly we're going to go over the features, what it comes with, what it can do, and how this thing welds. So I got everything set up just out of the box, but I was just going to show off here. Uh, big gun came with it, TIG torch, TIG consumable kit comes with it, foot pedal comes with it, uh, ground clamp, stick electrode holder. So all that came with it. And right now we got her plugged into 220. And if you remember this machine will do this machine will do 110 220. So it's a it's a personal machine in that aspect. Pretty awesome. I'll flip it on here. And how you know you have the new version, so if you're if you're trying to figure out if yours can run 6010, when you flip it on you'll see a QR code and that gets you to a screen if you scan with your phone it gets you to a video and then on the inside as well there's a QR code and that's how you know you would have the new version so in the new version it's a hardware upgrade not a software upgrade so if you have the old version that doesn't run 6010 you cannot upgrade it or update it I guess software wise it's actually a hardware upgrade so you'd have to purchase the new Multimatic 220 to get the 6010 output. But for those of you that are familiar with the 220, uh, you know that it's easy to set up, easy to use. You can keep everything plugged in, so your stinger and your ground and your MIG gun, and you can flip-flop back and forth between the two processes very easily, very quickly. Uh, you have to unplug the stinger to put your TIG torch in, but not a big deal. Uh, pretty fast setup. For those of you guys that are new to this and you want to do all the processes we have videos out there on the 220 uh, that go over a lot of other features that we can do but and compare this to other machines out there on the field but but the but one thing for the new guys out there this machine will TIG weld aluminum and now stick welds with 6010 uh, but obviously you can make stick TIG and TIG aluminum TIG stainless um, and you can stick weld up to 5 sixteenths and you can make weld up to 3 8 material uh, you know the duty cycle is like 20 percent at 200 amps so it's, it's fairly big um and if you bump that back down right you're in the 100 amp range you, your duty cycle goes up to like 60 percent somewhere in there so you you get a fairly good decent fairly good duty cycle out of a machine that can do all the processes and we see very they're very popular with home hobbyists um, and then where we started seeing them take a little stranglehold was uh in schools because they're easy to set up hold a decent sized spool of wire, we can MIG weld, and then when we're training kids how to weld, you can flip flop and go to TIG AC, TIG DC, and then we can go to stick welding all in the same day with the same machine, and we don't spend thousands and thousands of dollars on multiple machines. So that was the big push on 6010 on this unit too, was for training aspect for schools. All right, so let's dive into the functionality on this unit. So I'll show you here uh, where we're at um, right now. I'll start down here in stick mode. And it's going to tell you how to set up, where to put your stinger in your ground. And then right now I got it set on the 6010 setting, 90 amps, because we're on auto set. You can shut that off, and then you can adjust your amperage manually and your dig function manually. So 0 to 99, that's just your arc start function, and the pro set is, is 30. But we're going to use auto set today because it's pretty pretty user friendly um, but obviously you can out, you can adjust outside that target parameter of 90 amps and then run eighth inch but we're going to toggle up so we got TIG steel or stainless so remember that's electronegative going to be the same for both steel and stainless steel and then we have high frequency or lift arc remote and lift arc so high freak start this unit does have so when you hit the foot pedal it's going to jump the arc across from the tungsten to the plate. And then if you go to lift arc remote, you, it's like a scratch start for lift arc, and then you use the remote to adjust your amperage. And then lift arc is just, you set it for 90 amps, you lift off, you're at 90 amps immediately. There is no remote adjustment with a foot pedal. So pretty awesome. I like high frequency start on this unit. It does work really well. And one of the things that it does do well is TIG weld aluminum. So we've seen a lot of good success with that out there in the field with TIG welding aluminum. It really 
does have a very nice arc. It's pretty stable. Obviously, you could auto set for that as well, but you can turn that off and you can adjust your amperage manually. Um, auto set's nice, so it gives you a predetermined, you just tell material thickness, tungsten size, go from there. So as, as we go up, you can make weld aluminum with this. Uh, you gotta use a spool gun that does not come with it, but we'll, we'll link that down below. Um, have a few people that run them, they really like them, seem to work really well. Then we got MIG Steel, 100% CO2. So some of the people out there in the world run 100% CO2 on their shielding gas. And it welds, it welds okay, uh, but there's a setting for that. Then we got MIG Steel C25, which is your 7525 gas. More common, uh, smoother arc appearance. Welds great with 7525. And then we got MIG Stainless. They recommend a Trimix, but there is a setting for that. It just changes your outputs because it's stainless steel. And then we got flux cord wire. So this is a no gas self shielded. You can run that in this unit as well. Runs good on it. Um, tells you the setup. And then obviously has an auto set feature for that too. So jump over to the side here. We have our parameter guidelines. And then, so it gives you for steel wire welding, aluminum wire welding, TIG welding, and stick welding. So it gives you a good setup. You, Tell it, okay, I want to weld on quarter inch or three eighths, and then it'll give you a good start of where to set voltage wherever it's needed. Then on our drive roll system here, it's got a one spring. This is your tensioner, tension on the drive. So then we got multiple on our drive roll system there. We pop that down. That's your idler wheel. We can set different wire diameters. So it's a, you just push, turn, Changes your wire diameter. It works out really well. Trigger wire setup. Holds a two pound spool or 11 pound spool. Pretty nice setup. Here's our 110 adapter plug there. And that changes out pretty quick. I'm gonna fire this thing up. We'll put some 6010 electrode in there and we're giving it, gonna give it a shot. So I got the 6010, the red rod. Um, a little bit harder to run than the gray rod, but we're gonna give it a shot here. So. Why 6010 is so hard to run on the old 220 is because the open circuit voltage between the two studs on the old 220 is lower. So, and it's a safety feature. And what they did here is they bumped up the open circuit voltage. So when we set it to, we go down the stick and we go to 6010, it's gonna bump our voltage up between these two output studs and it's gonna help us stabilize that arc when we're running this rod. Let's give that a shot and we'll try it out. Uh, quarter inch plate it gives 100 amps on auto set. We got eighth inch 6010. Let's see how it fires up here. So the initial start there, um, that, that rod, so if you're familiar with 6010, uh, you get stuck right at the start quite a bit. It actually fires up really pretty nice. Let me just, let me just fire one off again here. We'll try and restart this rod. I just was burning. Running 6010 on the old unit, 
you could only, it would cut out about an inch, inch and a half into that well, maybe not even that far. Um, but boy, this thing runs really pretty nice. That's, that's impressive. So it's just something, something else in, the, in, in its tricks, you know, its book of tricks there, that that thing can run now. So 6010 and Tigwell aluminum, that's a heck of a deal. That's a whole bundle package. Um, so if you watch our videos, and we'll, we'll, we'll put down the links below for our, our website and uh, all the pricing and that. Uh, current stuff and we're always running promotions and different things too so we'll put that all below if you got any questions comments please leave them down below we'll do our best to answer them thanks again for watching and stay tuned for some more